Uh, it's nice to have you all here this afternoon. Uh, we're looking forward to the presentation that we're going to do today, albeit it'll be a short one, but we'll be one that hopefully we'll be able to take some information with you and to be able to incorporate some of this while you're at home, utilizing Siri both on ERC and Subtilo devices. I would like to um, just kind of give you a quick overview as we get started. Um, this is something that we are wanting to share with you that is something that's very simple to set up. And I'm going to demonstrate this with both on the PRC side within New Voice and in Power. I'll also show you some information that's also available on the PRC, or I'm sorry, on the Sotelo devices as well. It's already there available for you to do this. So with Siri, it's very simple to set up. It's very easy to utilize. There may be things you're already familiar with that you're able to do, and you'll be able to do this just as well on, the, on your devices. Aside from that, there may be some new things that I will show you too that you'll be able to incorporate that's just for fun. So we'll take this trip together and kind of take a look and see what we can do. And hopefully this will be something you can take with you uh, at home during this time. All right, so a little bit about me. My name is Daniel Dardes. I am the PRC consultant for East Florida and also Central Florida. I represent strictly just the PRC side. Um, I am a full-time employee owner of PRC, Saltillo, and I'm also part of the Special Interest Group 12 for AAC. So within the speech and language world for our certification and our, our governing body, there's different interest groups. Um, 12 happens to be the one that's for AAC. Now, also with me, that's also in the background, they're helping me walk through this and answer any questions and provide support, is Stephanie Reed. Stephanie Reed is the uh, one of the Texas representatives for Saltillo. And Beth Waite Lefebvre is also here with us, who has helped a lot of the trainings. If you've had any opportunity to see the other trainings, she's one of the people in the background who has been wonderfully master putting these together and making sure they're all on their PRC Saltillo uh, websites for support. So she's also here providing support as well. So here's what we're going to cover. Basically, three things. Very simple, but we'll walk through each one. And I have some video examples of what this would look like to, uh, to set up the Siri. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the process to set up the Siri voice commands to be understood uh, by the device uh, so that you can easily use Siri um, throughout the day. We're also going to look and list some existing uh, Siri commands that are available, and they're ones, ones that we typically use on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, and other ones that you might not know that Siri can do, and you can add it in as well into your, your pages or to your construct for the Siri commands. And then we'll talk a little bit about how to customize uh, this as well. And I'm gonna do this by demonstrating with the Empower software and also with, uh, with New Voice. So I'll give you a chance to kind of see what that looks like, how we could set it up, some things maybe you would want to do to customize it as well. Um, and I'm sure, quite honestly, it would be very easy to do the same thing on, on Cisco product. It's just a matter of just, cop or not sorry, copy and pasting, but basically just entering in the commands that you would want to have spoken by the device and therefore interact with Siri. All right, so a little bit about Siri. So this was actually a little bit of news for me too, because I'm mostly familiar with using it with my iPhone and also with the iPad. Um, but basically on any iOS or OS platform that has Siri, you can use it. So if it has the ability to have Siri as a, a voice assistant, you can use it on a Mac computer, you can use it on the TV operating systems, you can use it on the, uh, the Apple Watches. So again, if it's, it's geared and has Siri available, you can interface with it on any of the iOS platforms that are, uh, or the OS platforms that have Siri available. Um, Siri is part of the Apple uh, programming, obviously, I mean, that's part of their system. Um, there are a number of things that we can do with Siri. So I'm, I'll talk more about these in detail as we go through. But just so you know, it's we all are fairly familiar with it as being a personal assistant to answer a lot of questions, uh, particularly for phone questions and phone answering and things like that. Um, I We also talk about, for example, folks that can't use the texting capabilities with devices. Um, we can use Siri to be able to text as well. And I'll talk a little bit about that as well, just give you a brief overview so you can see what that looks like. Um, there's a number of things you can do with the commands outside of just that. You can do searches on social media. You can dictate messages to be saved. Um, 
it can solve math problems. So not that we will <laughs> not be able to walk through and solve your own math problems, which I know our kids love to do, make it easier. But you know, for those instances where problems are difficult, you're not exactly sure how to answer that question. Siri often will walk you step by step through a problem. So again, there's some nice advantages to having that against as, as an assistant when you don't have somebody who may be able to answer that question. When Siri is able to answer, or at least do the internet search for it, it's nice to have that as well. And then some, there's some fun things we can do. We can show about this a little bit later where you can ask Siri to flip a coin, you know, do heads or tails, um, asking in directions to a certain location. Um, a lot of fun stuff that we can incorporate in a day-to-day -day routine just to kind of expound upon outside of just communicating and, and just wanting to get an answer. But maybe there's some things we're practicing with our core words in our language systems that we can incorporate into some day-to-day -day routines with Siri or basically any other voice assistant we might have. So uh, what we can look at as far as when we're particularly teaching language or we're getting used to the language system, this is a great way to interact with technology you know, practicing those language concepts that we're doing, practicing with our core words, and then obviously utilizing it for a real life day to day uh, interaction with some other um, technology that we have in our home. So again, it's, it's a fun tool that we have, but again, a great thing we can use for education and obviously expounding upon some of the concepts that we're teaching our children uh, using our devices. So for those of you that are not familiar with this, this is just a quick run through how to set this up. So when you are going to activate the Hey Siri feature, what you need to do is go into your settings. Once you get into settings, you'll scroll down and look for Siri and search. And then once you do that, you will be able to look for this where you would swipe and say, hey, or listen for Hey Siri. So those are the important steps you need to do first. So if this is not something you're familiar with or don't know how to do, look for the settings wheel that looks just like this right on your, um, on your Apple uh, iPhone or on your iPad or operating system that you're utilizing. Go into the settings, go to Siri and search. And then again, once that shows up, you'll see this screen right here and then you'll swipe the, uh, the, the uh, to open the, uh, the system to be able to do this. I'm gonna turn it on. It's a lot easier to say that, I guess. So turn on the Hey Siri feature. Uh, once we do that, then you're going to need to have five commands ready for Siri to hear. And these are the five commands. Now I'll have these set up in the examples that we'll look at on the, uh, on the PRC devices, both in Empower and also in New Voice. Uh, for the Saltillo side, I'm not 100% sure if those commands are in there, but I can take a look, Stephanie meant when I'm remind me if that is available in there or if not we can easily program them in there um, so just make sure that these five commands are available and programmed into the device so that you can initially set these up and so it'll be hey siri hey siri send the message um, hey siri how is the weather today hey siri set a timer for three minutes and hey Siri, play some music. And Stephanie just told me they are available. So perfect, okay. So in any case, these should be there. If they're not, these would be the five uh, things that you would need to have available to set up Siri. Just as you would normally do with your own voice, you're gonna do it with the voice, the voice of the synthesizer. Now, I will say this, synthesizers sometimes need to be adjusted. So sometimes it's the volume control, maybe the if you have to adjust a little bit of the um, the pitch and the voice a little bit for it to be understood by Siri. Most of the time it will be understood. Sometimes it'll say, I didn't get that and you'll have to repeat it. So be flexible with it. So sometimes it may not pick it up 100%. We just need to fix it. So in my case, I, you're not gonna see this in the examples, but there may be times when you're trying to do one of the commands that say, it'll say, I didn't get that or I didn't hear it, please say it again. Just go ahead and do the message again and it should pick it up. All right, so let's take a look. So what I've done here, this is using new voice. All right, this is a page that I created for Siri. And on the left-hand side, I have the five commands right over here. They're on the left-hand side under settings. So I'm gonna play this. You can kind of see how this looks. After I turn in the, turned on the Hey Siri feature, you're gonna see how this looks uh, going step-by-step -step here. Hey Siri. Hey, Siri, send a message. 
Thank you. How is the weather today? Hey, Siri, set a time up with three minutes. Hey, Siri, play some music. Okay, so we'll know that all of the messages were received because you'll get a check mark after each one. So after that, you shouldn't have to have these commands available. So if you just wanted to erase them at that point or, or not utilize them anymore, you can do that. Or if you want to keep them for the event, something happens and series no longer working and you need to reset it, then, then keep it. Uh, just my opinion or my, yeah, my opinion or my advice, just keep those commands in there just in case. You know, for the example that you may want to set up another iPad or another OS system or another uh, opportunity for a different um, interaction with Siri on another device, you can do that. So that way you kind of keep it consistent throughout um, the different uh, opportunities you have there with different interfaces with Siri. So that's the setup. Pretty straightforward. Five commands should go in pretty easily. Once that's ready, you're ready to go at that point where Siri will now be able to activate when you do Hey Siri on your device. All right, so what we're gonna do here, let me pause this for a second, go to the next slide. All right, so the next set of examples are going to be examples that we can do with the device with some pre-programmed messages already in there. All right, so what I have, and I'm, let me pull out my new voice so you can see what the actual categories look like here. So here's the page that I created, and I think if this is something I can share with you, I'll, I'll bet, remind me if I can maybe have this posted or just have it um, available for everybody. This is just simply an NTI page that I created, and the same thing on, on, uh, on Empower. It's just a page that we can have available, and you can use this, or if you want to create your own, that's perfectly fine. It's just a page, and I put the commands on here. What I did is keep the categories just as a visual reminder of what possibly could be the types of messages we could do. So basics I have would be things that you and I typically would say, like asking you, you know, to do FaceTime, you know, calling a particular person, playing a voicemail or texting somebody. With texting, what I would suggest is if you want to use or to text someone using Siri, you can do that. What you would need to do is say, hey Siri, text the person. So maybe have the message where it's text Daniel or text John or text whoever. When Siri comes back and says, what do you want to say to that person? Have that message ready next to it here. Okay, so what I mean by that is for, let's just say I, I'm leaving these blank here. There is a store text button here that will grab the message that I have right on the top and place it to a key here. Okay, so let's say all I want to do is let me go back here a second. Of course, I don't have a go to home button, so I have to program that in there. All right, so let's just say I just wanted to say hi to somebody or what's up, you know? What's up? All right, so what I would do is go back here, go to pages, hey Siri. All right, I would say, hey Siri, you know text so-and-so, but I want to make sure I have this message ready to go before I do that. So I'm going to do store text area. Where do I want to paste it? I'm going to paste it here. And I'm going to clear. So now I can do, hey Siri, text whoever. Siri will come back and say, what do you want to say? And then I can do, what's up? And then it will hear that message and then say, do you want to say what's up to so-and-so? And then you can hit yes. Yes. Okay, so the whole premise is make sure you have your message ready to go so that when you walk through the steps with Siri, you can do that. Okay, so that way everything is available. You're not having to wait until it times out and you're stuck having to go back through the cycle of how Siri is able to record a message. You want to be able to have your messages ready. So best thing to do is have your message ready first before you walk through the steps to do a Siri. So other things that we have are, are schedules, you know, scheduling a meeting. So if you wanted to schedule a meeting at a certain time, if you want to find out what a holiday is, setting an alarm, these are just some examples you'll see here in a second, doing searches, um, getting directions to locations, playing music on your iPhone, um, asking how to say certain names in different languages that are available that can translate 
or you know, how do you say a, a certain phrase in another language? You can do that, which we'll show you in a second. And then here's some interesting things that you can do. So you can ask Siri, what planes, planes are flying above me? And it will tell you if you are an avid interest in you know, plane watching and things like that. I used to do that as a kid. I don't do it as much as I used to, but it's just a fun thing. I, you know, if you happen to have that interest in things, it will tell you, hey, this, these are the flights that are above you and you know, what altitude. So if someone's curious about that, you can do that. Um, ask it to roll two dice. You're playing a game and you, you want someone to take a turn, it will roll two dice for you. Heads or tails is another thing we can do. Uh, you should ask Siri to do, tell a joke, asking it some, some interesting questions. Some of them can be silly, some of them can be real. In this case, if you ask her what the favorite color is, she will come back and ask you, what's yours? So you just have that ready to go so you can answer back. Um, you can get to some of the picture taking. I, I don't know if you can take a picture directly just with Siri. Someone else would have to take a picture because it's not connected that way. But it will open up the picture feature to, or the um, the camera, so you can take a picture and and take a selfie too. You can also do some of the controls on the phone, like increasing and decreasing the brightness. And of course, there's some things you can do with jokes, which you'll see here in a minute. So a lot of things, and there's much more than this. So these are just some examples of, I guess, categories that I, I kind of delineated with some of the suggestions for Siri. But again, this is not by all means everything that you can do with it. So these are just suggestions. So let me bring the PowerPoint back here and then take a look here. So what I'm gonna do is give you, uh, it's a couple of minutes just watching what this would look like interfacing with Siri. Hello. Oops, I already did that one. Let me see that again, sorry. There we go. So I have two Daniels in there. Obviously, I would have to have that person's name ready to go, but you can do that directly. Hey, Siri. You and Siri there to call people. So you think about calling family members or friends, you know, we can do that. So in this case, I had a meeting already. Yeah. And I told it to override it. Now here's some other ones you can do. So you can even name the alarm to set the alarm for, you know, feeding the dog at 5 p.m. Make it more specific that way, too. So if we think about, you know, vocabulary, this is a great way to expound upon our vocabulary finding synonyms. So here it'll open up the maps if you want to find out, well, where is this place? And maybe we, you know, when we're obviously able to travel and get out of our homes a little bit, you know, what's the way we can get to a location? Then we can interact with it and ask uh, how to get there and then we can get to that location. So here's music that's available on the phone. That's So there's the flights that are flying above me at that time, and then their altitudes and what planes there are. Hey, Siri. How do you say Daniel Romania? So again, asking how to say a particular name in a language. Hey, Siri. How do you say what is your name in Italian?
So again, asking for translation for phrases. So that's kind of fun too, to play around with language a bit in different languages that Siri is able to do that. <laughs> it's actually a good one. Some of them are kind of not as good. That one I did like. <laughs> a decent joke this series. What is my favorite color? So I wasn't prepared for that, so I only have a certain amount of time to answer that back. So I should have had orange or red or blue ready to go. Again, that's a great way to explore your core vocabulary if she asks a question for you to come back and answer it. Why do you just my class yellow? And I think this is the last one here. Thank you. What is zero divided by zero? I like this one. <laughs> I was still bad for Cookie Monster at that point. <laughs> but again, those are the, the fun things you can do with Siri. And again, there is much more than just this. And I know that as things become more and more um, advanced with different technologies and just the advancement of AI and the advancement, obviously, of, of AI in a sense of using these personal assistants, you'll get more and more involved with answers that it can do, interactions, being able to interact with your phone and technology. So. Again, utilizing your AAC device to be able to interact with our day-to-day -day routines of things is a lot of fun, but also utilizing a tool like this, like Siri, being able to answer questions, being able to tell jokes, being able to explore things is a lot of fun because, again, it reinforces the technology we use on a day-to-day -day basis, reinforces the language that we're trying to model and teach on the device and making it functional. So I think that's just a real fun thing. Kids love technology. It just seems like it, we're ready to go. We can pick up a piece of equipment and we're ready to go with it. And we want to be able to make it fun, too, as, and also educational. We want to make sure that the interactions that we're doing has a purpose. And again, so when we utilize the system in such a way like this, we're able to teach and utilize the vocabulary teaching, expand upon it, utilize it in a real world situation and just kind of see how that works and, and really apply what we're learning to communicate in a, in a real sense. So, again, it's a tool in your toolbox to use. It can be a lot of fun. You can modify it however you want. But again, just to get an idea of what you can do, there's just some examples here that we can do. All right, so here is the picture that gives you, a, for those of you that are using more uh, on the uh, Lenovo chat devices, this, or from the Saltilla side, this is what the page would look like, I believe, in WordPower. Um, so if you want to have access to this, you can take a look at it. You can utilize it just the same as we did before. Um, you can, the commands are already there. You can modify the commands just as easily using the tools and the set and the uh, editing buttons to be able to get in and add more if you choose to and making it fun. So again, there's some standard ones that are there already, but then you can add things that are important to you or things that maybe you want to find out or just things that maybe just randomly we want to see if it works. You can do that. So again, it's a great way to interact both on the PRC and Saltillo side utilizing Siri and being able to have fun with it as well. All right, so um, before I do the resources, let me just give you a quick look at what it looks like on, um, on Empower as well. So we've looked at um, New Voice. So I kind of just put the same slot. I put it in the pages here. And you have, it's the same setup. So again, this is just a page that was created, interacts just the same. Uh, the only difference is the, the key to store message is actually already programmed and available off of the menu and the special keys here. So under your shortcuts, there's a save message button. So that is already there. If it's not showing, you just have to go to modify shortcuts and pick it and then load it into that space right there. So now you can grab the message that's in the message window and drop it into one of the keys that's there. All right, so that's already there available for you. You just have to activate that key by going to your menu, modifying your shortcuts and then bringing it up here right, so you can have it available. All right, so both the PRC and the Saltillo sides, we can easily customize it to fit exactly 
you know, what you want it to say, how you want it to be set up. So it's unique to the child that's using it or the adult that's using it, no matter what, they can have it customized or however they wish. So before, as we wrap up here, or the last five minutes, what I want to remind you all is there's a great, great, great amount of resources that we have available for you. Um, if you go to saltillo.com, you are on the panel on the top for resources, you can go under and look for support and education. You can look for the chat corner. So a lot of great resources are here. Let me kind of go right there real quick so you can see what that looks like if you're not familiar with it. All right. So under implementation, there's some great resources here for books and stories, tips for success, uh, supports and success. There's a lot of materials here that you are free to print out and to go through that would help support you in, in, at home and making sure that you're covering things maybe that are already being done in the home or maybe just there's things like, I didn't know we could do that. Let's try it. And there's some wonderful things you can print out here that are available here. On the PRC side, um, we also, in addition to, uh, Saltella has a training and support us there as well. Uh, we have the AAC Language Lab. Again, this is a great resource here that you can have access to for both PRC and Saltillo supports. So there's manual boards, great activities, great lessons. There's blogs from, that are many times that you'll see from individuals who use our devices and are sharing their stories and family stories that are here as well. Um, we have information on curriculum. Um, the, we are offering currently right now, if you don't have it and want to have access to the full resources, it is uh, two months. You can register and log in and you'll get a two-month subscription. Um, outside of that, it's $19.99 a year, I believe. So it's not too expensive, but it's a great start right now. If you just want to just try it out and get on for the next two months and print out a bunch of great resources, by all means, please do. Um, so go ahead and sign up for the next two months. Uh, Explore AAC is another great resource that we have that walks you step by step as far as what is AAC? What does it look like? How do we even begin the process of an evaluation? Do I want to even consider it? You know, what resources are available and who can I reach to to get information? And there's you will find your PRC or Saltillo consultant available consult or uh, contact information here as well so that we're here to help and support you to answer any questions you might have or directions as far as, you know, how do we customize the device or maybe there's some things you're running into that you're not 100% sure the device can do. You know, those are things you can ask us and we can definitely provide support in those things as well and much, much more. All right, so on um, the PRC side, I know I didn't get a chance to go over there on the website, but as well under the education tab, you can go, there's tons of trainings and support information there as well. Um, keeping you up on updated uh, trainings that we have and recordings of different trainings that we have as well, so you can watch them on your own time. Another option for you all to get trainings here, both live and in person. We also talked about the AAC language, um, I'm sorry, it's for AAC. Again, that was the website I just showed you that Again, takes you step by step to just explain all about AAC from beginning to end, the supports that are available and how we're able to support you and your families and the clinicians that are working with you uh, to make sure that there's success and, and definitely a carryover from day to day as you are able to explore and learn all about the device. And then the last thing I wanted to share with you all, this was just released yesterday. This is our AAC Teletips for PRC Saltillo. Great website with tons of resources. For clinicians who are making that step into telepractice and are trying to understand how to, to engage their families and also how to provide supports, this is something we provided for everyone to take a look at to make it easier for, for everyone to make this transition. So if this is for the short term or maybe, you know, maybe a little bit longer than the short term, I mean, you to maintain this for a while. What are things that we can, we can do to provide support, provide direction, resources and materials, all of the things are housed in this one website that are very much important for families and for clinicians that are making that connection through telepractice to be able to do it successfully. So great resource. Please actually share this with your colleagues and friends who are uh, not necessarily sure about this yet or obviously you just released it, so maybe just get the word out. Uh, great resource, great um, availability there for us to be able to support you, your families, and the clinicians that you're working with. And that is it. So. 129, so I, we can stay on obviously for questions and comments afterwards, but I do want to take the opportunity to say thank you very much for the opportunity to share this with you. I hope it gave you a little bit more of a resource to, or more resources to use with uh, your devices and be able to interact with Siri in some fun ways and just make this a little bit more engaging and more day-to-day -day practice for using your device with core vocabulary and also carrying it over into real life situations.